In this video, I'm going to set up a voice recorder profile in Dragon Medical Practice Edition 2. By creating this profile, you'll be able to take advantage of Dragon's transcribe functions. The first step will be to add a new dictation source to an existing Dragon profile, or to create a new Dragon profile with a digital audio recorder as our dictation source. I'll be creating an additional dictation source for my existing Dragon profile. First, I go to Profile and then add dictation source to current user profile. From the drop down menu select digital audio recorder and click OK. You are prompted with a window that says recorder training has not yet been completed for this user profile and dictation source. If you wish to proceed you must do this now. Click OK. Another window appears laying out the steps required to complete the process of using your recorder with Dragon. In addition, you're given the opportunity to view the tutorial on recorder usage via a link named Tutorial. When you're ready, select Next to begin. You are greeted with a reminder to check that your recorder is supported by Dragon, and again you're given a link, this time to Dragon Help, and a chart containing recommended recorder specs, as well as a link to the Nuance support site containing a list of acceptable recorders. I'll be using the Philips DPM-8000 for demonstration purposes. Select Next. Here, you'll click on a sample text from the list. You can read from the computer screen by clicking on the passage and then clicking View the Selection. Alternately, you may select Print the Selection. Keep in mind, you need only read five minutes of the text at minimum, though Nuance recommends reading the entire text. Assuming you are familiar with the operation of your recorder, it's time to fire it up and record your selected passage. Once you have read at least five minutes, stop the recorder, close the window, and press Next on your computer screen. You are prompted to connect your recorder to the computer. This is typically done via docking station or by directly connecting a USB cable from the recorder to the PC. Now we want to manually transfer your dictation from the recorder to your computer. If you're unfamiliar with the process, here's a video that explains how it's done. Please click the link on your screen to see that video. Click Next on your computer screen. Click Browse to locate the file. You'll be presented with a File Explorer window. Browse to the location of your dictation file, highlight it, and click Open, then click Next. You're shown the name of the file you selected for training and given the opportunity to confirm the recorded file matches the passage you selected. Once you're satisfied that you have the correct file and correct passage selected, you may click Start Training. Shortly thereafter, you should begin to see movement on the progress bar. As stated under the progress bar, you will automatically advance to the next screen when initial training is complete. Because I'm adding the recorder as a dictation source to an existing profile, I get a window that states, congratulations, your profile is ready for use. If you're creating a new profile instead of the congratulations window, you will get a window that gives you the option to schedule acoustic and language model optimization. Click Next. Now choose whether or not to run data collection and when to run it. Click Next again. You'll get a window that states, congratulations, your profile is ready for use. Click Finish. Your recorder profile is now ready for use. Give it a try. Drag your training file over to the Dragon Bar and watch it transcribe. To see more tech tips like this, subscribe to our Certified eSupport channel. You can check us out on the web at www.certifiedesupport.com.